Hi, Mr. President. Um, one of the things, of course, on the agenda for today's council is Brexit. Why was the joint report recently uh, that was recently agreed so important? And why was EPP support in particular so important in helping us get to the point we're at now? Well, we had a, a full um, uh, update by um, Mr. Barnier on uh, the Brexit uh, negotiations and obviously the joint report was particularly important uh, as it signifies the completion uh, of the first phase in these uh, particularly uh, cumbersome discussions. Uh, we certainly have our hands full um, for the next uh, months, but I think we have at least uh, a very clear roadmap and we have resolved in principle um, the main issues which had been uh, put on the table in order to start uh, the, the serious part of the, of the discussion. So I'm cautiously uh, optimistic that everything will be done on time. And something else, of course, which has been on the European agenda for the last couple of years um, and, and on the agenda now as well is migration. Um, what, are you, what's, what are your views on the current uh, proposals that have been put forward with regards to quotas, et cetera, on, on the migration issue? I would like to express my serious uh, concern and intense dissatisfaction with uh, the proposals that have been tabled by President uh, Tusk and uh, uh, the, the concern that has been uh, expressed about mandatory uh, quotas. Uh, the reason is simple. Uh, first of all, the relocation uh, scheme uh, uh, has been relatively modest, but it has uh, worked and it has been uh, the only clear proof and indication of uh, real uh, solidarity when it comes to relocating uh, people who are actually eligible for, for asylum. Uh, we need to understand that without solidarity, the migration issue cannot be addressed. Uh, and if we let national uh, agendas overrun the debate, we will not find a European solution to this particularly complex problem. Obviously, as uh, a politician from Greece, I'm particularly sensitive to this issue because Greece is a border country for the European Union and uh, is, uh, is facing most of the consequences uh, of this migration crisis. We, everyone in the EPP uh, is in favor of uh, better managing our borders and of uh, stronger border management. Uh, and I would be the first to support these policies, but uh, obviously a contingency plan needs to be put in, uh, in place for those people who actually manage to who enter the European Union and uh, who are uh, eligible for international uh, protection uh, according to the, um, um, to the asylum legislation of each country. Obviously, what we also need to do is to make sure that we streamline our asylum systems as quickly as uh, possible. This is also an important project uh, as we move into 2018. And finally, I wanted to ask about your party congress coming up this weekend. What is your vision for, for the congress and for the party uh, you know, Demokratia moving forward? Well, we're very excited about our party congress, which is taking place this, uh, this weekend. It will be a, a fantastic opportunity for us to present our vision for the country going forward. Um, we're currently uh, we currently have a very big lead in the, in, in the polls, but uh, we want to convince as many Greeks as possible uh, that uh, we uh, have a clear plan about uh, uh, returning Greece to a sustainable growth path. Uh, and uh, we've reached a point where Greeks are bitterly disappointed with the current government. They're looking for alternatives. Uh, Net Demokratia is the only party that has presented a credible alternative. Uh, and uh, we are very, very optimistic that after our party congress uh, is completed that uh, our message will uh, resonate very, very clearly with Greek society. Thanks very much. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much.